Hey guys, it's me, Halloween Dan. Just doing another quick video today talking about the other bits and bobs I managed to get from Asda the other day. It's a dark, wet, stormy October morning. Ooh, I can feel the Halloween pulsating through the world. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's just get straight into what I got. So here we go, these are just a few of the bits and bobs I managed to get the other day. Not a lot. Most of this was from Asda, one thing was from Marks and Spencers, but we'll go on about that in a minute. Um, I just wanted to show really the sort of things that Asda have got out on their shelves this year and uh, how it's usually really good quality, really kind of good stuff. Um, they always come up with some good ideas. I did say in my previous video I was a tiny little bit disappointed because I thought some of the props that they did have this year were lacking. They had a great big skeleton spider guy, which was kind of cool, and a skeleton dog that barked. He was cool too. But apart from that, there was it was kind of, it just felt like there was something lacking this year. Maybe it was the store I went to just didn't have the full range out, I'm not quite sure. But either way, they still have a really good selection of, of decorations and bits and bobs. And this is really just a very small selection of what they do and what I really wanted. So here we've got, a selection of games so I we always put on a kids party for Halloween and I thought some of these games might come in handy this one bend and twist game the three pound was basically is basically twister from what I can gather um, but a Halloween version of twister so that looks like it could be quite fun um, you've got this trick-or-treat treasure hunt and which you've got little boxes here to make up which you put the treat into and then a whole range of signposts and things which are supposed to sort of either trick the kids into thinking they're going to find a treat or actually pointing towards where a treat is. And then there's this, which is a ghoulish games compendium. Let's the games begin. So it's all kinds of small games. There's a beanbag toss and a spider spoon race and a three in one car game. So again, I thought that might be quite fun. Even just if it's me and the kids playing some of them, that might be quite fun. Uh, going along the game theme as well. This wasn't from Asda. This was from Marks and Spencers. Uh, but this is a pass the parcel game. So inside here are a few small gifts. I think it shows you there what's inside. They're not on every layer. You rip it open basically, and every layer there's you you know you pass it round. So that's kind of kind of cool. I quite like that. That was four pounds from Marks and Spencers. Then the rest of what I've got here are just props and things to go with party. So I got some really nice um, Happy Halloween party plates, paper plates. Um, really cool design on them this year. I really like what Asda have put on their on their stuff this year. It looks really good, and and a nice set of cups. Kind of a bit piratey. This I think. Oops, oops. Just think it's just the black and white motif on it. Looks kind of cool. I got a whole bunch of fake cobweb. You can't go wrong with fake cobweb. And the decision I've made about fake cobweb is that you cannot keep it for the next year. It's something about it just does not like once it's out of the bag. And once you've used it, it just isn't the same ever again. So yeah, fake cobweb, I'll probably have to buy some more. I've got this cool picture, which um, is one of them ones when, when you turn it, the faces change. Yeah, it's uh, kind of cool, I quite like that. Um, Finn actually picked that up, he really likes that. We've got a bag of uh, glow-in-the-dark spiders. These are slightly bigger, uh, they were two pounds. Um, they're kind of cool, and I've got some black lights, so they should light up in the black light, which is cool. A bit of bunting, I don't know how long this is. Oh, two meters long, so not too bad. Uh, we always like to put lots of bunting up inside our house, so that's kind of cool. Giant spider web, I've got one of these giant spider webs, but it's got a bit knotted up and a bit, it's sort of fallen apart a little bit, so I thought I'd treat myself to another one. Uh, fiendish fabric kind of like cheesecloth, but it's kind of cool to uh, sort of hang about and just sort of put on. I kind of put it on the hedges and things. It kind of looks kind of cool. And last but not least, <laughs> we've got this hand. <laughs> so it's a skeleton hand for three pound. It's obviously got a spike on the bottom. The idea is you stick this up out of the ground. I thought this might look kind of cool next to one of my gravestones. 
just like a skeleton sticking his hand up, thumbs up, out of the ground. So yeah, and that's about all I got. There, like I say, there was tons more. I did have my eye on, they had a really cool or knock a doorbell type thing that was kind of awesome. Uh, but, uh, and they had other things. It was a big skull's head and all kinds of stuff. It was not limited to just this, but I kind of, I don't know, I, I kind of, I'm always looking for something a bit different, things I've never really seen before. I mean, I've seen all of this before, but uh, something a bit special, I suppose. Something I've never bought before, put it that way. And it kind of was lacking on that front, I found. So anyway, this is what I came away with. I'm very happy with what I bought. It didn't cost me the earth to buy these bits and bobs. Uh, the party games in particular, I'm quite uh, interested to see how well they work and turn out. I will be going to another supermarket soon, uh, probably to a Sainsbury's, because I think they've got their stuff out now and it should look pretty good. Um, or it looked pretty good from the pictures I've seen. So we will see. And I will update you if I manage to get my hands on any more goodies. So if I manage to get my hands on any more spooky goodies, I will be quick to update. And I hope you're all getting on with your haunts and getting your bits and bobs. I hope you're getting everything you want because I know it's... I kind of feel a bit of a sort of an anxiety almost at this time of year because I feel on one hand like I'm pressurizing myself so much to, to make sure I've got the best things and then at the same time I kind of feel bad when I miss out on things and I see other people with these awesome things and I'm like oh my god I wish I'd managed to get that. Uh, <laughs> don't pressurize yourselves people, just enjoy the spooky season because that's yeah let's just all enjoy ourselves anyway thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this little review of these as the goodies and i'll see you all soon keep it spooky bye